be highlighted by Isaiah chapter 43. In this chapter, we see that the Israelites are being taken captive by the Babylonians because of their sins, of their frailty, because of their waywardness. So they've been captured by the enemies and they've been dwelling in a foreign land. And the Lord is merciful. His anger does not last long. His anger is just for a moment. Because God's teaching them. And yet God restores them again. But in this chapter, Isaiah 43 is what God's reminding who he is. First, he reminded their relationship. Second, he reminded of what he can do. And third, what he had done in the past. Let me read to you verse 2 of chapter 43. Fear not, uh, verse 1, but now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, He who formed you, Israel. It's a portion of relationship God telling the Israelite, even though malayo kayo, nandiyan kayo, kilala kita. I formed you, I, I made you. It's reminding them of their relationship. Second, it's reminding them of His power and His might. Verse 2, in his promises, fear not, for I have redeemed you, I will call you by name, you are mine. Verse 2, when you pass through the water, I will be with you, and to the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk to fire, you shall not be born burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. God reminding them his relationship, secondly, God is reminding them who what he can do. What his promise is that yes, he go, they go to the fire, they go to the river, they will not be burned, they will not be swept away. The third thing God's reminding them in this chapter in verse 16, let me read to you. He says, He does says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters. God's reminding them what he has done in the past. It can still be doing the thing. Many of us have been living in situation of hopelessness, finding comfort in our own way, and maybe some of us are stuck in our situation that we couldn't find a way. But you know what? God is reminding us that He is our way maker. Amen? The first thing God is establishing is our relationship, reminding us that we are in the world. by our name is a personal level. I don't know what you're going through, but God is calling you by name. Maybe sometimes you might ask, Lord, kilala mo ba ako para malayo? But you know what? God is calling you by name. Amen? Second thing, God is giving us promise. He says here, yes, you will go through the water. Yes, you will go through fire. It's not a promise that we are not accepted to tribulation, but it's a, it's a promise that He is with us. Amen? Amen. He is with us. And last thing, my track record of Panginoon. Look at your life. Look at your life. How the Lord has sustained us, all of us. We were nobody. We have nothing. We were desperate. But because of God, are here today rejoicing and thanking God because He is our way maker. Amen? Amen. You know what, church? We're going to declare in this place this time. I know it's early in the morning. We're going to declare in this place. My God is my way maker. Amen? Amen. Let's declare this. I worship Him. Amen.
one another as the music is being played. Just remind each other, the Lord is our way maker. Amen.